Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Bright, and I'm here to give you a tour of the Sunless Sea. It's a game by Fail Better Games, people responsible for Fallen London, which is this narrative browser-based game which shares the same setting as the Sunless Sea. I played around in there for a while and it's it's a very unique setting, we'll go with that. Definitely worth a look. So we're just going to dive into a new game, we're sure we want to do that. I played in the early access and I've explored a little bit of what the Sunless Sea is like now. Uh, it's similar to Fallen London in that it's a narrative based game, however instead of just having the narrative, it also has this... well you'll see. Now, first we have to make our captain. Uh, three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Untersee. Alright, now we're gonna choose a past. We could just leave it as just mysterious and wreathed in shadows, as they say, but uh, I'm not a fan of that. I like having made decisions. And we're now lodging in a room above the blind helmsman. Very good. Now here's our options. We can be a street urchin. Uh, the urchin gang cast... Yeah. The street urchin gang cast you out when you grew too tall, took to sea rather than graduate to larger crimes, and that last big score was enough to buy a ship. So, pretty big score. You can buy a ship with it. Alright. Poet. Educated and articulate. Definitely not me. Uh, you seek sensation at sea. How lucky you had a legacy to spend. Your long-vanished father had a rich patron, it seems. Interesting. Now, I presume that if I pick different options, besides this bonus to different skills, like veils, pages, iron, hearts, or mirrors, I suspect it's also going to give you access to different stories, like dealing with the how of how you got your ship. Um, let's see what other options we got. We can be in the veteran of... We could be a veteran of the campaign of 68. You fought in the invasion of hell. London's armies lost. You survived. Your loot and your pension have bought you a command. Yeah, 1868. After being dragged beneath the world by bats, um, London tries to invade hell. It, uh, didn't work. I... I'm actually curious why they thought that would work, um, but Fallen London gets into that. And an ordained priest, you fell from grace, hmm. there's nothing left ashore for you, an anonymous benefactor has found this way out for you. Perhaps at Z you can overcome your appetites. Nope, not doing that. And the last option, the one we're going to go with, is a natural philosopher, your peculiar your peculiar theories on time, blood, and starlight brought you down to the Neath, the cavern where London lies. Now they take you out to Z. I kind of like that. It's like a explorer, scientist kind of thing, which yeah, I like. It's the kind of characters I enjoy in literature. Uh, and in games, of course. Let's see here. Your acquaintance, the plausible surgeon, will serve as ship's doctor until you find someone better. Eh, seems nice enough. He probably won't saw the wrong limb off. Yep. Okay. Maybe he gets replaced quicker. And this just shows what I've gained. Mirrors is a skill, which I can see up here. Detection and perception. The higher your mirrors, the quicker you find the quicker you can find a firing solution in combat. Let's try keeping the mouse on the right icon, eh? Oh, and we gain 20 echoes. Let's see. And I've lost the stranger quality. Okay, and what is our ambition going to be? We go after your father's bones. Now, fulfillment. I do want to be fulfilled. Uh, gather 100 tales, learn all you can see of the Z. Write a masterpiece, retire. Sounds like a plan. Or I could go for wealth. 
You know how it is to be poor. Now you want a mansion, servants, fine clothes, a family, perhaps. I'm kind of going to go for the writer. In general, in these kind of games, I want to explore, get stories, and I feel like that's the ambition that I'll actually achieve. If I achieve one. Um, death does tend to happen in this game. Or at least it used to. And Captain, Captain, an irregularity with the Harbor Master's office. They wish to know what term of address do you prefer ashore? Yeah, let's not do the Shatner thing. Never mind. Uh, for me, I'm going to go... Hmm. Citizen? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Citizen, perhaps you're some sort of rabble-rousing enthusiast, eh? Hmm. Okay. And now the portrait. I'm going to go with... I've got a bunch of choices. I mean, that is tempting, the whole tentacle hat kind of thing. But, uh, no, no, I think I'm... I think I'm good. No. Like a Madame Curie with the little beaker thing. Uh, no. I'm just gonna be boring. Go with this guy. And for our name... Abraham... Abrahama... Bright. Yeah, just Abraham Bright. And we accept it. Now we're gonna start on this. I'm gonna ignore the advice. Because, again, I've played around a little bit. So I kind of know what I'm doing, at least if this is, well, unless something fun happens, I probably know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see here. And that's the fun kind of fun, not the, oh, yeah, this is enjoyable. Uh, let's see here. The unex, unex, the enunciation, I need to figure that out. The Unexpurgated Gazette, the magazine formerly known as the London Magazine, the Spiteful Trumpeter News. Okay, let's see what they got. Uh, the Echo Bazaar, that enigmatic marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. The Traitor Empress has forbidden singing in the street outside her palace. The Anarchists of the Calendar Council have inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. Okay. The Ministry of Pub... The Ministry of Public Decency has located and destroyed a nest of gallblighter wasps. Okay. Why would you dynamite a drinking fountain? I... I okay. Okay. Alright. Fine. Uh, and gallblighter wasps. We just... We live in such a wonderful city. <sighs> Okay, let's, uh, let's run away from the city. Well, actually, let's... Let's not. Let's go to the survey office. Just want to serve the Admiralty, uh, whose picket fleets and intelligent networks are long gone. I would love to know why they're gone, because... I... You know? <laughs> I want to know what got rid of them, because i got a feeling that's going to be an issue for me later on. But let's see if there's anything in particular they need. Alright. Speak to our agent there and return. There being Guider's Morn in the Corsair's Forest, somewhere not far from home. Corsair's Forest. Corsairs usually being pirates, I'm guessing. Cool. Very nice. Nice. No, oh, I think that's quite enough. And I don't want more crew. I'll just go crazy or get eaten by monsters or something. Uh, could offer passage to a tomb colonist. Why not? An emigrant will pay to be taken north to Venderbite. It's oddly difficult to die in fallen London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew cart these one. These ones are bored in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. Such a nice place. Yeah. It's, uh... Like I said, Fallen London. It's, um... Uh, it's a place. Okay. Enough. Enough dawdling. 
gallivanting, or not gallivanting, the opposite of gallivanting. Um, well, you know what? Let's go to the shops. Because if I remember right, this guy does... Nope. Although at some point I am going to buy this little torpedo thing. Because, you know, torpedoes. But, ah, there we are. You can actually sell that advice book for cash. And, let's see. I'm going to buy mushroom wine because, I mean, even if I don't end up selling it elsewhere, all I lose is one echo per mushroom wine. Uh, which I think I got five of, right? Uh, yes, that is five. All right. Now let's go. I must find it a little unsettling that little drip drop sound. Not sure if that was in the early access when I played and it's It's atmospheric, alright. Alright, our first discovery. Bad steamer Bad Stevener's Abyss. And Okay. Okay. Ro rent Ro Rowena's rocks? Rowena's rocks? Well, either way, someone's rocks. Which have this weird spiral pattern to them. Not sure what that's about. Now that's oh, I can dock there. That's the light ship. Its clear bright beam warms the way. And you know why not speak to the crew? They long for news of home. I have it. Why not give it to them? Tea beneath the light. In the bleaching glare of the lens, among the smells of oil and metal, you sip tea and chat. The Z's terrors recedes. Disease terror recedes. There we go. And far from home. And let's launch again. Ooh, hello. Massey's shaft. <laughs> uh, yeah. I uh. I don't think I'm gonna. Well, no. I have to go north. Can't be going. Over this way, I've got a passenger. And wine. Let's see here. Oop, stalagmites loom in the distance like the cranes of Wolfstack docks. But vaster, vaster. The Corsair's forests. Our lookouts are watchful. Oh, so this is the Corsair's forest. Which I need to find a place in. Um, does Guiders mourn? Let me just... Let's pause this and give it a look. This thing does it. Gazette, rather. And I believe it was Guider's Morn? Yeah. Somewhere in this area, there is a place called Guider's Morn. And apparently they have information for me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out a Z bat. There goes the little bat. And Hunter's Keep is a long way to the northwest. Oh, hey! We're in combat, apparently. With a crack pirate steam pinnace in the fog. Okay. Okay. Well, better shoot him. Um, they don't even seem to be really fighting. They seem to be just sort of trying to run away. Can't be having that. I can turn more than you can, buddy. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Shouldn't be more than another two shots. Okay. And... You're done. And... Yep. Immediately looting it. So... Which is a vile old vessel, and the Z's aren't safe. Take what you can and move on. Will do. These pinnaces don't sail far from their hidden harbors, but here's something at the back of the hold. I have a cache of curiosities. Let's find out what's inside there. Crates, the fundamental element of cargo. It's 
crates all the way down. And... Supplies. Neat. I get to not starve for a little while longer. Let's resume. Give them the all clear. Oh, that little guy in the lower right corner looks suspiciously like a dock. Or something with bridges. Neat. Oh, at some point I discovered... Oh, there we go. Guider's Mourn. And unless I am much mistaken, that corner should have something for me to dock at. Yeah. Well, I should note that I'm down to six barrels of fuel. Pretty sure I started with... I'm yeah, pretty sure I started with ten, so... Oop, oop. Help. Tutorial. Let's, uh... Yeah. Apparently you can collide with things, and it will damage your hull. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Guider's Mourn. The Mourn is a stalagmite, fast as a crag, and its foot has no safe harbors. This is my first time here. I think I'll read... See, I don't know if I want to read all the descriptions, or if... Yeah, we'll do that. The Morn is a stalagmite, vast as a crag, and its foot has no safe harbors. The Corsair's citadel nestles halfway up. An intricate system of winches takes the strain, and your ship rises slowly from the sea. Her hull creaks in protest. Grilled sailors groan and cling to stanchions. No idea what those are. Higher, higher. Now the inter sea shimmers like glass below. Children clambering in crevices cheer and wave alarmingly. The winch motor slows, and you hang in a cradle next to a red-bowed pirate cutter. You know, maybe keep me away from the pirates. I, I did just kill a few. Uh, I'm worrying if that's gonna. Be, I'm worrying if that's gonna be a gonna be an issue. Um. Well, let's explore. Sure, why not? There's a surprising quantity of actual landscape on the Morn. It's vertical, admittedly, but once you find the best, the beast paths and urchin roads, you can traverse it as you would a rocky moor, with an additional throatful of lurching terror. Oh, hello. A crew of chelonate hunters exchange heated insults with a conate privateer. It looks likely to end in blood. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that little fifty. 15% chance of success thing. Not doing that. Um, they may <laughs> they may be foreign, but at least they're halfway sophisticated. Or I could side with the Chilo Chilonians. They may be uncouth, but at least they're brave. Oh my. <laughs> this is what... I could raise my own flag. The Chilonians are savage ghouls who live in a dead turtle that could... Caganians are decadent cowards who can't hold a kingdom together. London is the sole bright light of civilization in the Neath. Perhaps you should point these things out. That seems like a terrible plan. Um, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be slightly cowardly and side with the Chelonians. And apparently I won. Neat. With battle screams and razor-tipped harpoons and your help, the Chelonians rout the Conate privateers, the swaggering huntress who led who leads them, claps you on the back. Well fought for a Londoner. Come to the Carrion Sea sometime. We'll roast a sea serpent for you. She drops a saw-edged bone token into your hand and blows you a kiss. Um, okay. That's, I, okay. I have several questions. Most of them having to do with frying a sea serpent? That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see here. I spent another afternoon at the Errant Limpet. Considering I just fought off a bunch of guys, probably not a good idea. Let's, uh. Yeah, for five echoes, let's pay him for the information. You're a generous soul. You'll have your reward the other side of the river one day. And here's a little reward for now. Good sailing to ye. The report is barely legible. Perhaps that's part of the code. The Admiralty will know. Yay. Thanks.